Yeah, what's up, you guys? This is Godson coming back, and we're doing another Kings of Clash episode. So I have a special guest today. Now, uh, maybe you could tell me a little, a little bit more about yourself. Like, your name is Mimi the Magi, and you're leader of the clan. Could you go ahead and just tell me, like, how exactly uh, you got started with the game and stuff? Well, um, I'm Mimi the Magi, and I started the game because so many of the guys I knew were playing. And um, I just started it on a whim. I really didn't intend to be a gamer. I was never a gamer before, so this was was really a whole new world for me. And um, I enjoyed it. And I uh, guess I'm fairly competitive, so um, it I became an addict like so many others have. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. What is it about the game where, like, at what point in the game did you say, okay, you know, I like this. This is really fun. I'm going to actually commit to this. I think it was just right in the very beginning. It was fun from the very beginning. Once I joined a clan and uh, found um, a lot of neat people that I could relate to and people from from all over the world, it was really sort of a, a, a way to communicate with people that – I might not ever have had a chance. I would never have had a chance to get to know. Um, so I, I. What kind of what kind of people is that? Well, um, for instance, Tetwa is in Malaysia. Um, I have never been there. We'll never go there, probably. But yet we've become good friends. I have a number of good friends in the Middle East, in Europe, um, from the Far East, uh, Australia. It's uh, wonderful to get to know people from all over the world and to know that we can play a game together and be friends together regardless of what's happening in the rest of the world. And where exactly are you from? I'm from the United States. Oh, what part? From Tennessee. Tennessee, okay. A little bit of an accent. I was trying to figure (laughs) where you're from. (laughs) Yes. Okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, So... As I understand it, you are the leader of Loyalty 44. I am. am. And how exactly exactly did you guys come up with Loyalty 44, or are you just partnered with North 44? Well, Loyalty 44 was the original first feeder clan for North 44. Um, As I understand it, um, from the beginning, when North became such a force in CLC, Loyalty was the first feeder, and there was a time when North was number one and Loyalty was number two. Uh, Loyalty disbanded um, for some period of time. I was not a member at that time. I was probably just a noob account who knew very little. But um, I joined North 44, became co-leader in North 44, and we knew that there was a need to develop a strong feeder system. So, Loyalty 44 was reopened, refounded, and we now have a strong feeder system. How did you actually become leader, though? Did you just get elected leader, or were you up for the uh, position? You know, I'm not really sure about that. I'm not sure how, <laughs> that, how that came about. Um, I've because I've led clans before. I think it was pro- I was probably a good fit for for going in and starting up being a part of the startup for loyalty um and how how go ahead many of the people in north are so committed to north that for them to leave north and go to start a theater might be might feel like a step down or for me and, and and i'm just saying maybe that's the case um, North is a very, very wonderful clan of great people who enjoy playing together. Um, I love the people there, and as a matter of fact, I have a second account that's a co-leader there, so I really never left. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so for me, it was easy to have one account in North and one account to start the to start up loyalty. I have a foot in both clans now, so to speak. That's a... That's actually a very interesting uh, question I want to ask you then. Like, what are your what are your schedules for playing the game? Uh, how do you uh, balance between two accounts? And is it pr- pretty difficult being a leader in the clan as well? Oh, you know, leadership always has challenges. 
but they're they're much easier when you have some wonderful people to play with, wonderful co-leaders to work with. It becomes not so much of a challenge. And as for playing, I guess, you know, I could take my accounts and, and move much higher, get more cups, uh, if I dedicated more time to the actual play. I don't. I spend more time leading than I do playing. But um, I watch the shields, and when they run out, I jump on and play a few rounds. And then I go on defense, take another shield, and... and um, work on leading the clan so it's it's not hard it's um just a matter of balance well i looked at your account and your profile said you've been as high as 3800 cups though is that correct? that's correct how was it like being up that high <laughs> <laughs> um i spent too much time in the clouds oh is that right yeah, yeah too much time in the clouds and uh it's hard to lead when you're spending all your time in the clouds so yeah, I, I felt yeah. like um, I enjoy it much more playing under 3,600. You know, a sweet spot is 3,300 to 3,600 for me. Um, that's just where I enjoyed the game the most, I think. Oh, really? Um, so, I mean, how long have you been playing, though? Were you around since the game started? No, 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 no. I haven't been around since the game started, but probably shortly thereafter. Um I remember being a noob account when North 44 was number one. Um, and I remember being invited into North 44 to play um, as a noob account and thinking, gosh, this is something really special. But, um, and North 44 still does that. They still, um, we still invite people in to come and play for an hour or two and then leave um, just to share with them what we are as a clan. Hmm. So, do you guys plan on maybe um, being as good as North 44, or maybe taking over the role as North 44, or you just want to stay a secondary clan like a feeder? We're, we're a secondary clan, and our job is to prepare people to move to North 44. And in fact, we've got several members that we um, trained, if you will. We help them become champions and help them learn how to be better champions and then move them on to North 44. That's really sort of our primary role is as, as much a training camp, I think. We'll be the, we'll right? be the second clan, the only cup clan other than North 44 in our family. Is there like any tips you can give people that are looking to be, you know, to start a new clan and become leaders and have people, you know, under them? Is there any tips you can give them? Oh, I think probably the most important thing is to treat people like you want to be treated. Um, people can go to any clan they wish, and they'll come to you if they enjoy playing with you, if they enjoy being part of your, your group. For that, it means uh, developing an atmosphere of mutual respect and appreciation. And if you rule with an iron fist, then who wants to play with you? If you make the game fun, people will come and enjoy playing and your clan will thrive and be successful. Mm. That's very good. I have, um, okay, I have two more questions for you. Um, this is one that regards, it's because you said you were up at 3,800. So my question is, um, are you familiar with cheap shielding, and do you think that's okay for people to use that? You know, I think it's probably the only way you can play at that level. Um, and what's wrong with helping out a friend and giving them a, a shield that um, where they lose only a few cups rather than losing 30 cups? If you've played at that level, you know that if you're attacked by someone, it's very, very easy to lose 30 or 40 cups. But when you oh, yeah. but when you attack, <laughs> you often only win. Um, you're only offered um, battles, raids, where you can gain one, two, or three cups. So a loss of thirty cups is huge. Um, yeah. Do you think they should do something about that? So that I mean, I I know they the matchmaking system is there, but it's just people are always online or they're always on shield, so you can't find anyone. But they've made it so that you can fight lower level players. And they only give you like one cup. 
I know. And but, how much do you spend on an army to get one cop? It's pretty ridiculous, oh, yeah. isn't it? Well, what um, what is your army that you use? What kind of troops do you have? Oh, I I go back and forth. Right now, I'm I'm loving using dragons. So <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll right now I'm going with eleven dragons, a witch, two wizards, and um, in my uh, in my clan castle, a golem, two wall breakers, and a barb. Dang. Okay. So you're like the the air unit. Yeah, <laughs> you like the air yeah. units. That's that's a really that's it's a strong team, but very expensive too. Well, it, it like, is. Yeah. Um, how many how many dragons do you have again? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Ooh. Dang. That's like forty forty two hundred licks for each. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a strong team though. Yeah, it is. Sometimes I go in with um, with golem, and I'll go with two or three golem, and then witches and wizards, and. 16 or 18 wall breakers um mm. that's a that's a fun raid also and it's all about having fun isn't it it is yeah it is um okay how do you have you been able to adjust to the changes that we recently had with the the nerfs to the hero and the changes to everything when you attack that was really hard i think it was extremely hard for a lot of us to make that change and you invest so much in, in getting your heroes up and then oh darn your heroes aren't worth as much as they were before they can't do as much but yeah <laughs> i think um it, it took a week or two but I've made adjustments in, in the way I raid and um, made some adjustments in my defense as well um, based on the changes. Um, I think it's hurt some people more than it's hurt others. Some of us have found it a little easier to adjust or we're just so busy having fun that we don't care. Oh, is that yeah. right? Okay. Okay. Um, you know, that's pretty much all the questions I had. There's just one more. What do you what do you think what would you want to see in a future update or any changes to the game that you would like in to see? Right to um supercell a lot about this. I w <laughs> <laughs> and I and I wish more people would. I think they listen more when you write. But I think um it would be wonderful if they had some sort of a um system where they had for matchmaking purposes, ghost bases that we could attack at least at the higher levels so that we're not spending so much time in the clouds. Oh, it was like, uh, uh, like a training type of uh, purpose. Something like that, but even where you could win some cups by uh, attacking a ghost base, a base that would be modeled hmm. after existing bases. Um, oh, yeah. But they would not be real accounts. They would be uh, faux accounts that you could attack and get cups. Um, I think that would make yeah, it a that... lot easier for those of us who are, uh, for those who want to be higher in cups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that you know that's actually pretty interesting because I mean, if you are active, then you know they should Supercell should reward you in that way where you actually can earn your cups and stuff. Well, it's just so hard, oh. and I know so many champs get so frustrated. You know, you can be in the clouds for two or three hours and not really see a viable raid. So yeah. um, it, it disincentivizes people to go higher. It disincentivizes people to, to even stay at the get with the game when you get to a, a certain level. So um, I, I think there really needs to be some sort of adjustment so that people at a high level, um, and I can say this because I'm not there, <laughs> but people who are at a higher level have a little more choice and yeah. how they yeah. play. That would be fair. They've invested a lot in the game. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, did you want to give any shout-outs or any final words before we take off? Well, I'll just say um, hello to my friend Tet, Tet Wah, whom I adore, and to my very good friend and my role model, Sabine Lavesters, who led North 44 for so very long and is such a wonderful leader anyone would do well to be as nearly as good as she is um, and all my friends in North and in loyalty thank you so much for letting me play with you I really love it all right thank you thank you so much Mimi for hanging out with us and hopefully you know we get to see more of you guys and some gameplay <laughs> I hope so thanks for calling thank you I'll see you okay. next time bye now
Oh, my God.